say metaphor is like uh, a similar experience to the, the teaching, let it, letting, ha letting a teaching happen by itself. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a, it's a very interesting outlet to that teaching source where you want it or not, everyone is just learning mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Is it important for you to um, have an environment in which you always feel safe and comfortable to express yourself in that way? It is, yeah, I think it's important for me. But I also feel like I'm kind of responsible for that mm -hmm. a lot of the times. I'm the one that creates that environment. Right. And I think that's what I'm starting to realize now more than ever is that I uh, that I I'm sorry how you were saying I need to trust myself uh, and be myself around anyone and every in any place and any time and uh, I think the people that I met including Jeremy and met four are all seeking some, that kind of idea mm. and I, I really respect people that can do that that they can be themselves and uh, and learn as as you as as we take our baby steps mm. you know I learned a lot in the in going to I, I learned a lot it was really really interesting because anything I didn't have any expectations and I'm glad I didn't because what happened went beyond the expectations mm. and I and I don't know if I would have ever made it there if I if I had mm. a thought that it would might be this or that or something else you know and also it breaks expectations like sometimes I would I would feel I'm not sure if I should say this I don't really know everybody and I don't know how they're gonna receive it I just feel but it was such a small feeling I'd end up saying it and then I would say get feedback right away and you know we're, I a lot of people are, are just not getting that now. Mm. You know, it's, it's not the norm anymore. The experiences that I've shared with uh, guests at these events throughout all of them have all been so, like, so beautiful to see how people start opening up mm -hmm. and they get inspired when, uh, like, it's just a natural inspiration to get inspired by other people who do it. When you see someone become confident, like, it's contagious. The confidence is contagious. Yeah. I, I felt like the past year has been a very, very good year, but also a very tough year for me. Mm. I spent most of my time in solitude. Um, and what I was missing was hu like actual human connection um, with my, but connection with myself, but also connection with others. Um, I was missing a social life, but also a social life that I had never gotten to experience mm. before. Um, and finally now, I'm experiencing the social life that like seriously, like real human connection, like really getting to like look into your eyes mm -hmm. and talk to you, you know. You know, Metaphor is a lot like, like the, my experiences with kids in the gym and parents too, it works both ways. You know, you have very uh, intelligent children and very intelligent adults, they, we all communicate in the same way. Mm. Through, I think, um, like empathy practices and we've had like a few empathy workshops, mm -hmm. we would just spend time figuring out ways to understand each other. Mm -hmm. Not about our identity, not about who we want to be, just about how we feel. What experiences have we been through and how does, it, how does it shape us? How does it form us and what can we learn from these experiences? So those are the types of practices that we try to embrace in mm -hmm. every event. Yeah. We still practice. <laughs> yeah. Just the way we did that dance party on just people pick music, and we dance on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So at first, that was this Zoom barrier where it's, oh man, I'm home alone. Like, I wish I was with you guys. And it was that kind of thing. But then again, after a few songs, it just felt like we were all in the same room. It just, it, like the Zoom was not a problem anymore. Wow. We were having a conversation earlier about habits and I think 
what I realized is I started to look at the people that were in my life and I started to think, you know, like, hmm, you know, like there's certain things about these people that like say annoy me or I don't like or, you know, it's just like, oh, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like that he's that way. And then I started to have some kind of self-awareness and I'm like, why do I hate so much that this person is that way? I'm like, is it possible that I'm actually that way? Mm -hmm. And then that's real honesty with yourself. That's real transparency. And then you realize, I have been that way. I don't hate that person. I hate that quality that I have in myself that this person is displaying in front of me. Oh yeah, we did a sound sphere event. Mm. For those that don't know, is when uh, all the guests bring a, bring a song that they like, they submit it to Met4, and then they, we play it, and we all listen to it together. And we decided to to dance, me and Jeremy. And for a second, I was like a little worried about dancing in front of a bunch of people. Mm. But then it went away pretty quickly. And we all just danced. Mm. That was fun. Because I think some of the experiences, you might have to take a big jump. You might. I mean, when you have to let go of something that's so familiar and comfortable to you, and you have to then feel different, perceive different. You have to accept that life might be different than you, you thought it was or, or wanted it to be. Uh, those are the big, those are big jumps in your life. And if you have a situation where you can do that and become, uh, become aware of it and desire it, that's a big change in, in, for a lot of people. But what happens is kind of unexplainable in a way. Like you get to experience new things and you get to have opportunities to connect with other people. And I think the way that that works best is when you have an environment that is free of like judgment mm -hmm. and expectations, which is not easy to do, especially in our society. But it's something that um, I try to um, kind of guide guests mm -hmm. into. And if anybody feels uncomfortable, like they have the right to speak how they feel. You know, what I've gotten from it, like I got it, I, I got like what I needed, like human connection, mm -hmm. you know, like um, learning, um, like all of these different things I got easily into two events, just two events. And they were online events? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is like nuts uh, yeah. to do that through Zoom and to be able to experience that. Mm -hmm. It's very special, so. Mm. If you just come with no expectations, and just be with people and engage with them, it's always rewarding. Yeah, so for, for people who are looking to connect and learn about themselves and others, that's a great. But, you know, if it's somebody who's like, who's just looking to get laid or meet some women or, you know, or like uh, some other uh, reasons, I mean, we had all types of people, and it was always fun. Yeah. So it always worked. It seems like it's like perfect. Like when it's not perfect, it's perfect in its imperfection. That's the only way I, I can uh, describe that. Wabi sabi. And have you ever had that experience where you run, you you pass by somebody, and you're like, I kind of wanted to talk to that person, mm -hmm. and but something stopped you from doing that. And those are the types of barriers that I want to face, mm -hmm. and I would like to kind of overcome um, and anybody's welcome to join practicing with me yeah. um, because I think those are the ultimately things that get in the way of us connecting with each other because we have so much to learn from mm -hmm. each other. We come from, from very different backgrounds and lifestyles but at the same time there's so much that we also have in common just as people and thinking, feeling beings and I think we could talk about that for the rest of our lives for sure. I'm inspired, especially today. To listen. That's nice.